St. Paul Spartans. Welcome to Catholic Schools Week. This year we're learning how Catholic schools are united in faith and community. But how much do we really know about our church and our school community? Let's take a walk through history and find out. Our journey begins in 1845 in a small village called New Berlin. The villagers were primarily farmers. Catholic families had to travel by horse-drawn wagons six miles south to attend mass in Canton, Ohio. A committee was formed to have a church built to serve 30 families. The cornerstone for the first church was laid approximately around here in 1845 which is now C Building and the cemetery. This is the picture of the first church. The work to build the church progressed slowly due to a lack of funds. Joyfully, St. Paul's Church was completed in 1847. The parish was at that time part of the Cleveland Diocese. Bishop Amadeus Rape dedicated the church and was the first to celebrate Mass with 35 pioneer families. At the time, there was a shortage of priests in the area. For the next eight years, there were visiting priests who had come to celebrate Mass on an occasional basis. The parishioners could only receive sacraments when a priest was available to attend. In 1858, Father Lyndon Schmidt was assigned to celebrate Mass and sacraments at St. Paul Church once a month. On the other weeks, he set up a Sunday school program for all ages to preserve the faith and teach the love of the Holy Mother Church. A visiting priest, Father Bartholet, in the 1870s helped to raise $800 for a sanctuary to be added to the church. It wasn't until 1896 that the parish received its full-time priest. His name, Father John Burkell. The village and parish continued to flourish. It was in 1909 that Father Gertz acquired the property right here to start our first church. The church is designed in a Romanesque style, built of brick with stone trimming. High above the entrance, in a niche, is a statue of St. Paul the Apostle. The gable is mounted with a stone Latin cross. In April of 1910, the foundation was laid for our new church. In July of 1910, there was a great celebration of the installation of the cornerstone. There was even a parade down Main Street. The church became fully equipped with stained glass windows, a sanctuary of white marble stone, and beautiful furnishings constructed from volunteer workers and donations of $30,000. It was one of the first and finest constructions of its kind in Ohio. People from all over the state came by coach and special cars to celebrate. The pictures were taken by the local newspaper, The Repository. This house, built on the south side of the church, was built in 1911. It was originally built with columns to match the architecture of the church, and it was a home for the priests. The present rectory, this building today, is used for parish offices and meetings, where the receptionist sits to greet the guests used to be the front porch. Although C Building, built in 1962, is where students began their education at St. Paul's School, it actually is the last set of classrooms to be built here on campus. The original church was remodeled to be a school in 1919. Pictured here is the first class of students to attend school in the old church. The first day of the school in the remodeled church was on September 8th. The teachers were the Sisters of Humility of Mary. They lived in one of the houses near the rectory. This is a collection of houses near the rectory that were torn down to make room for a brand new school. 
In 1922, Father Schmidt and a committee began to make plans to build a new school. Today, we call that school A Building. Originally, it had eight classrooms and an assembly hall. It was state of the art and fireproof. The school only had four teachers and 120 students divided into eight classes. The parish and school continued to grow. And in 1953, plans were constructed to build an additional building. This building had four classrooms and a lunchroom added to the school. The construction was finished in 1956 just in time for school to begin. This building is now called B Building. At about the same time, in 1955, car and bus garages were built where now stands the Parish Life Center, which was built in 2002 and dedicated in 2003. On January 16, 1962, construction for C Building began which opened in the fall of 1963. Throughout the years, the school continued to evolve. And in 1985, the convent out front was torn down to make room for the beautiful new addition and the wonderful library that we enjoy today. Under the guidance of Monsignor James A. Clark, the church continued to grow through the 2000s. On August 13, 2006, the church that we gather in for school and Sunday masses was dedicated. In 2010, our beautiful baptismal font was a gift to Father Jay for his 40th year of ordination, primarily from the Women's Guild. The wonderful organ we have was also a gift to Father Jay in 2019. Did you go to preschool here? Did you know that St. Paul's Preschool was first a bank? This property was acquired in 2005 and the first group of students attended in the year 2007. Many physical upgrades have been done to the school and church buildings. But do you know what is the most important? Our community has grown in numerous ways and we have been a positive influence in the town of North Canton. We have grown in faith and community. The small 30 pioneer families of 1845 has now grown to over 2,400 households. Thank you, St. Paul, for guiding your people to learn to love and care for one another. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the gifts of volunteers and donors throughout history that have made it possible for us to learn in a beautiful space and to celebrate St. Paul's Church.